Hey, happy Friday, everyone. Welcome. I am Meredith, and I'm here with our message for the 19th of May, 2023. We have the sun in Taurus, the moon in Gemini, Pluto in retrograde, and a new moon today, which I believe happens around noon, at least in this time zone. Uh, check yours. So new moon in Gemini today. All right. Out of hand tarot let's see what we've got going on our first two cards we have the four of wands oh you know it there it is it's shown up for us a few times this week uh happiest card in the minor arcana we're talking about the evolution of celebration of happiness on our foundation within our sphere of influence it uh it really is a celebration card it can also be a card that indicates invitation uh, to an event. So some of us might be checking our mailboxes for something like that coming with. Oh, look at this. We have double fours. We have the emperor showing up with the four of wands. And that, that pairing is the emperor taking command on the foundation. I, I love that he's pointing uh, at this contract it's like he's saying, you put this in writing for yourself. You chose this for you. You chose this kind of happiness. How are you going to celebrate it? How are you going to grow that and, and continue in that type of life experience of happiness, joy, creating a, leg, a legacy of joy? Hmm. Let's see what comes next. Ooh, the High Priestess. Interesting cards. You know, yesterday we started out with the Death card. And one of the pairings that sometimes happens in our readings here, either they'll come out together or very close together, is the Death card and the High Priestess. So yesterday we started out with the Death card. And very near the beginning of this reading, we're, we're with the High Priestess. And as we spoke on the transformation energy with the Death card yesterday, we were talking about making way for what was being birthed onto our foundation with the Empress. And so here we are today uh, with the Emperor and the High Priestess. So Empress and Death card yesterday, Emperor and High Priestess today. These cards all work together beautifully because when the Death card and the High Priestess show up in a reading together. You know that the High Priestess is showing you, showing you, showing us what needs to move. And the Death card is there to move it, transformationally speaking. So today we have the Emperor pointing at what you designed for your life. Uh, I do feel the energy of the Wheel of Fortune here. I know I was wishing for it in yesterday's reading I just, I feel that energy at work. The divine delivery system is turning in our favor and it's turning on our four of wands foundation. And the emperor is reminding us that we, that we wrote our, we wrote our own story. Oh my gosh. I remember saying this week that my guides were saying you can write your own ticket and I feel like that's what the emperor is pointing at. You wrote your own ticket. And the, the high priestess is helping the emperor remind us of that. I feel they're working together. And the empress, excuse me, the high priestess is here with, you know, as the divine inner oracle. Quietly whispering. <laughs> as our intuitive voice. Go this way. Turn that way. Take this path. This one's the right, this is the right way to go for you. Almost like if, if the Wheel of Fortune could speak, it would be the voice of the High Priestess guiding you around every twist and turn, over every speed bump and pothole in the road of the spiritual journey, because we're on this uh, celebratory quest of happiness in the Four of Wands. Hmm. So we have these beauties showing up in the reading reminding you to listen to your intuition and trust your knowledge base because the emperor is called the know-it-all. He's Aries energy, He's fire, 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 extremely direct. And I feel he's pointing out just how 
extremely direct, our intuitive messages have been in keeping with our Four of Wands quality of lifestyle. Hmm. Next set, two cards first. Gosh, look at these major arcana coming out. Now we have the Strength card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. Which is also number eight and a double four. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Oh, and then in, if you add the two from the High Priestess to the eight, you get 10 in the Major Arcana, which is the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> That's fancy numerology for what I'd like to see. <laughs> okay, strength card, courage. Having the courage to allow our wild free spiritedness to take the lead right sometimes we need to dig into that call upon our wild free spirit and even when we feel vulnerable rise in our vulnerability courageously and continue on oh my gosh this card's paired with another major arcana the fool see we're going out the door here on a new journey on a new quest and i feel as though we have been lightening our load. We're not carrying with us all of the excuses and the procrastinations and the reasons why we should or should not do this or do that. I feel like we've been letting that go in a big way. You know, we've taken a look at our subconscious programming, deliberately so. We've seen that with the hermit this week, and I know I continue to mention it, and then the reason I do is because it feels really important to what we're witnessing here in the cards, which is a progression in the direction of celebrating our greatest happiness, and that takes a lot of courage, and it takes showing up in the face of our own vulnerability, which I feel came off the moon card that we saw in yesterday's reading, we took a look at our own vulnerability and we're still saying yes to digging into our courage here with the strength card, having the strength to journey on free of consequences with the fool there and walking with a light load, not a heavy heart, not a heavy mind, not all these reasons why we should hold ourselves back. All this week, we've been talking about the transformation uh, that comes of liberating ourselves from whatever is an obstacle in the subconscious. So I feel that these cards represent our success in that arena. And where are we going next? Where are we going when we step through this doorway on the Fool's card? Another major arcana to the Magician. Whoa, we're all about the as above, so below. This is us bringing heaven to earth, which is what we were doing with the Empress in yesterday's reading, giving birth to our dreams, creating heaven on earth for ourselves, and celebrating the love that we are. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. What is going on behind the scenes, and how is the universe supporting it? <laughs> First card, two of wands, stepping through a gateway, a threshold to a whole new world of opportunity and a whole bunch of brand new ideas that we are in consideration with because we've got a fresh perspective of our own personal liberation rather than our own personal prison of any ego story in the subconscious. Coming with this is the king of swords. Excellent. There's a lot of decisive, sharp wisdom, knowledge right there coming in. But one of the things or one of the qualities that I love so much about the King and the Queen of Swords that there is that they're no nonsense characters in tarot. There's new there's no BS with these two. There's no gray area with them either. And many people speak on the King and the Queen of Swords in terms of having a reputation of being cold and bitter. The truth is though they are all heart. And they have great courage, which confirms our lovely strength card here. So engage your heart and be decisive as you step through the doorway with the fool and a new quest, a new journey, without any fear of consequences when embarking upon a whole new world of opportunity here with the two of wands. Then we have five of pentacles. This is my non-conformity card. It's, 
in traditional tarot, you see two people a little worse for wear out in the cold, looking like they need sanctuary and care. And they do. And they can step into the sanctuary. They could allow themselves to be dictated by the very few coins they have in their pocket. Or they could trust that there will always be more and not conform to whatever price they have to pay to enter the sanctuary. And that's us right here, yet again, confirming our wild free-spiritedness in the strength card. And everything that we are taking a look at uh, that potentially holds us back in our subconscious. Mm. I know some of you might want to argue or debate the point that we don't really know what's going on in our subconscious because we don't exactly know all the details of how we were programmed, though. You can take a look at any area of your life right now where you perceive a need for change, a desire for change, or where you perceive stagnation and limitation, and you can know for certain that you've got some, some, some subconscious programming around all of that. Let those experiences of your own self be a guiding light for you to dig a little deeper, to... to Turn over the soil, if you will, in the subconscious so you can pull some things up by their roots that are not serving you, that will never bear fruit. Then we have the King of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, the Master Manifester confirming our, our lovely magician card here. If you can dream it, you can do it. If you can dream it, you can make it happen <clears throat> in some way, shape, or form for yourself. The King of Pentacles lets you know you have all the resource you could possibly require. <laughs> no matter what your checkbook looks like over here on the Five of Pentacles, you've chosen not to conform to some someone else's idea of your destiny. And you're blazing your own trail here with the Fool and this Five of Pentacles with the keen sharpness of the King of Swords, and a deep inner trust coming right out of your own intuitive uh, downloads information that you have everything that you need. The King of Pentacles is here to confirm that. And then we have the Lovers. Beautiful card. Divine Union. Divine Union within you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Divine Union within self-relationship. And... A divine union of all that you are bringing together at this time on your four of wands foundation look at this then we have the chariot we have justice look at all this major arcana and there's the queen of pentacles as well really gorgeous energy here we're very dynamic we are not uh, hesitating here with ourselves which is beautiful and hmm. I had this poster a long time ago. It was a cat sitting at a piano and it said, we're the cats that make it happen. And that's the energy that I feel here. We're the cats that are making this happen right now. <laughs> oh, all right, angel answers. There's a card falling out right away. Emphatic no. <laughs> oh, I like that. I feel like we're saying no to those old excuses and procrastinations. That lurk in the shadow of the subconscious. No, thank you. Remain positive. You know that's the fuel that turns the wheel of fortune. Trust is next. Trust yourself. Oh, wow. To let go and go with this beautiful flow because it's all up to you. All right. Final word on the reading. Sacred Travelers, how is our soulful presence informing our waking human consciousness? All right, one more shuffle. We have Watching Clouds. Lie back, rest, relax. <laughs> yeah, daydream right there in your hammock. Daydream about your next step. 
remain positive. It's all up to you. Have a beautiful Friday. Have a beautiful weekend, everyone. Thank you, as always, for joining me here for the reading. Peace, love, happiness. Namaste.